Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Heavy Rain, and, or as, uh, again, as many people have been calling it, Depressed Dad. In any case, let's dive straight into it. Um, uh, we've already seen this, well, it, well, it doesn't take very long to play through. So this is weird, I'm actually recording in the day. Usually I record in, uh, at, or sorry, at night. But it's different because, uh, I missed my class today. Because I woke up too late for it. And I'm like, well, I should probably get something productive done at least. So I decided that I would do a recording. I can't tell what's on there. Okay, it's down. Wait, was that the guy that I wanted? Oh no. Is this the guy? Let's talk to this clown. I'm not entirely sure what it nice was. Shot. To... Oh, there we go. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once. But I think the owner of the course is still looking for him. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. You know, golf is one of my favorite sports. I love golf. I love playing golf. I have no idea why. It's just, uh, it's just a lot of fun. Though I'm definitely not the best golfer in the world, and I haven't played in a very, very long time. The balls are in that basket. But it's still awesome. But I, I do go to the driving range occasionally, just because there's something very the therapeutic. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly when you feel ready. You swing. About just, you know, endlessly hitting, you know, the golf balls as far as you can over and over and over again. Yeah. Impressive. You seem to have a knack for it. Who the hell is this guy? Oh, beginner's luck. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. I also like to go to the batting cages for the same reason. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. Apparently this guy's got some, oops, major balls. Wow. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shelby, and I pay very well for loyalty. <coughs> Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. God, 
This guy's so awesome. He's easily the best character. He's just gotten major, major class. Oh, there we go. Depressed dad on the forefront. So, did I ever tell you guys, um... Porcelain lizards? The hell? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat-up stuff. That's right, you smash it, Ethan. You chill it, what's what. In any case, did I ever tell you guys, um... I, I used to play baseball. I used to play baseball uh, a lot. And, um... I guess I'm trying to find one that has something inside it. That's why I shake it. Yeah, I used to play baseball a lot, and um, I wasn't particularly gifted uh, fielder or anything like that, but I could, you know... Oh, there's something in here. But I could hit the ball like there was no tomorrow. But I remember uh, I'd never gotten a home run. Whoops. Wrong uh, stick flick. But yeah, I'd never gotten a home run. But uh, the first time I did... Before I got up to the plate, I I prayed, but I prayed to Joseph Stalin, and as soon as I did, very first pitch, knocked that ball out of the park. So there you go, proving that praying to Stalin is far more effective than praying to any other deity. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? Uh. You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. Wait, what? If you succeed, you will get your reward. Wait, what? Well, okay, now it's getting a little bit saw-like. Well, alright, here we go. You can do it, depressed dad. I believe in you. Uh, is there anything in here that I need? Whiskey? No way, you take you're taking that whiskey. I thought I saw a, a cleaver or something. There it is. Can I can I grab that? Alright. You have four minutes and thirty seconds left. Well, if I'm gonna cut off anything, I should probably use the cleaver, not the saw.
can do it to press dad. I believe in you. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. Try it. Do it. Do it. There's no fucking around here. Honest, I did not think he'd actually do it. Under the desk. Maybe I should have had that whiskey beforehand. before gangrene sets in. Wouldn't that be enough? Google it. Yeah, no, I did not think I'd actually do it, but, uh, well, I was, uh, I was proven wrong. But on the bright side, I unlocked a new bonus. So, that's good. Excuse me, sorry. Alright, well, is this the, uh, section where she gets a, you know, purpose, meaning we actually learn something about her. That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal. Is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. What the fuck is that girl doing there? If Mars comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. going inside. Maybe she lives there. Oh, it's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Shit. What's he up to in there? Um. Wait for a go on my word. Should I talk to him about some nonsense? 
C can you actually control the goddamn character, please? You can't get out that way. Oh shit, oh shit, what do I do, what do I do? What way can we get out, Ethan? Help me out here. What about here? at it. Yeah. I hate moving this controller around. I'm afraid it's gonna like fly off and uh shit. It's too high. Box, I saw a box. I go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. Yeah. Come on, let's go this way. Come on, come on, come on. I know you just had your finger cut off, but this isn't time for lollygagging, depressed dad. Okay, we're working on it. Fortunately, it's a traffic jam. Uh, uh. Ah, there's so many things on screen. By so many things, I mean two. I can't pay attention to everything. Uh, uh. Quickly now. I don't think they caught us. Uh oh. Doesn't he have a thing about crowds? Ethan, Ethan, what's the matter? We've got to keep going. Ethan, Ethan, they're coming. Okay. Let's just go. I don't know which way we're going, or which way we gotta go. Yeah, yeah. Careful. Dude's lost his finger. Everybody, shut up. Out of my way, people. Ah, ah. I somehow managed to run myself into the sign. The fucking idiots. Can't you see he has no finger? And he's bleeding everywhere? I'm gonna try and get on the subway. Can I get on the subway? Oh, out of my way, people. Oh. Wait, who thought of this bright idea? Was it me? 
I don't know which way we're going. Um, let's go this way. What? Oh, oh, I get it. We're supposed to cross. Okay, I gotcha. Come on, Ethan. Take that, you clowns! Chasing the wrong guy, just so you know. Whew. Okay, now what? Well, I think he's really got to tell her what's up. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. I brought some food. I didn't know what you liked, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. You could have been killed. I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. You needed help. I helped you. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? Um, confide. I... I sometimes have these blackouts. No, that's not what I meant. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm... someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards... is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I would love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? <laughs> and tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own.
Okay. So, I still, I don't think he's the or origami killer. No. As uh, someone who has studied psychological disorders, there's, you know, no such thing really as having that bad sort of identity dissociation disorder. That's not paranoid schizophrenia. Paranoid schizophrenia don't, you know, necessarily have blackouts and think they're two people. If you're prepared to kill, are you prepared to kill somebody to save yourself? Brad Silver? Kill him, send a picture, get your reward. Alright, let's do it. I've come this far. There's no going back now. Myself. Your vodka, sir. Thanks. The drink of manly you look men. Preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you-know-what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but... that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Excuse me. Ugh. Man, I'm not feeling too well today. Can review the evidence on the surface of Mars. <laughs> well, well, looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. <laughs> 